Good day to you, internet person. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through the transform widget. This tool was introduced in Resolume 7.21 for both Arena and Avenue. The widget was created to speed up scaling, placement and rotation of your content and make it more convenient to do so at the same time. So without further ado, let's get started. The transform widget gives you easy control over the transform effect on each clip layer, group, and composition. For those unfamiliar with this, each clip, layer, group, and composition has a single instance of the transform effect, which cannot be removed. This effect is used to move your content horizontally and vertically, scale it proportionally or by width and height, rotate your content, and when we dive a little deeper, we can rotate over the X, Y, or Z axis. The transform effect will adjust a single clip, all clips on a layer, all layers within a group, or the entire composition. This means that you can have a transform adjustment on a bunch of clips, just like this, and then transform all of them by adjusting the layer transform, just like I'm doing here. And then we can transform all layers by adjusting the composition transform. In the past, you would use the sliders and buttons like I just did. But with the introduction of the transform widget, you can do this now straight from the monitor instead. When I click on my content in the preview monitor, I get a widget similar to the advanced output widget. I can now scale, rotate and move. When looking at the clip panel, we can see that the transform values are updated as I perform my actions. I am using the clip panel to demonstrate this, but this works identically for layers, groups and compositions. By default, the transform widget will be enabled for the preview, layer, group and clip monitors. This update also introduces three new monitor types, selected clip, selected layer and selected group. If all this monitor magic sounds foreign to you, check out this tutorial on monitors to learn all about it. Link in the video description. This new monitor type does exactly what it says. It monitors the selected clip layer or group. These monitors also have the transform widget enabled by default. The widget can be disabled through the same menu. By default, the widget will scale to fit the monitor panel. Using this menu over here, I can manually set the zoom level. Alternatively, I can use the scroll wheel of my mouse to zoom in and out. Hitting the hand icon allows you to pan the monitor around. Alternatively, you can hold down the middle mouse button to go in and out of pan mode. Alter alternatively, you can hold down the alt key to pan. All right, with those basics out of the way, let's dive into the nitty gritty of the transform widget. By default, scaling will be uniform to maintain the aspect ratio of your content. By holding down the Alt key, you can scale up and down from the center. You can also do non-uniform scaling by holding down the Shift key. This allows you to stretch and squish your content to your heart's desire. Holding down the Command button disables snapping while scaling. You can combine shortcuts where needed. For example, holding down Alt and Command allows for scaling from the center without snapping. By moving to a corner of the widget, you can rotate your content. By holding down Shift, you can rotate in increments of 45 degrees. You can move your content by simply dragging your content. Holding down Shift while doing so will constrain it to either the X or Y axes. And similar to scaling, holding down the command button will disable snapping. By right clicking the monitor, we open up a menu with additional options. Here you have access to some handy functions like mirroring the X or Y axis, centering the content on the X or Y axis and stretching your content to a given subdivision. But most importantly, here you'll find the reset button to reset it all. By now you will agree with me that the transform widget is awesome, but there are some limitations that you should be aware of. First of all, the widget does not work when working on multiple clips at the same time. 
but there are rumors in the Resolume HQ that this might be added in a later update. If you use the transform effect to rotate the X or Y axes, or if you change the anchor point in the transform effect, the widget will no longer work. To show you this, I'll rotate my content here over the X axis. You'll spot a little icon next to the scaling menu telling you that the widget is disabled. Even though the widget is disabled, the right mouse button options will still work. Additionally, the widget does not work on the crossfader and advanced output monitors. The transform widget can operate on clips, layers, groups or the entire composition. Here I have a composition monitor and a preview monitor. When I click on the layer and then use the transform widget, I am transforming the layer. So all adjustments made here will affect all clips on the layer. This can be a very destructive workflow in a live environment. So let's go over some best practices for the transform widget. By default, the composition monitor will have his widget disabled. This is probably a good idea, as moving your entire composition around mid-show sounds like a horrible idea. You can enable it during show preparation and disable it when it's showtime. If you want to use the transform widget in a live situation, you might want to set the monitor to selected clip. This mode functions similar to the preview monitor in that you can click on the handle of a clip to preview it, and in this case, transform it. But what it doesn't allow you to do is transform the layer or group, which ensures that you are not accidentally messing up the layer transform. Color coding your clips and layers and groups also helps here. The transform widget will use the color of the selected layer, clip or group. Quickly check if the colors match before you start transforming. There are many approaches to using this feature, so make sure to dive in and experiment first. For example, this is the layout that I use for my own shows. I have a composition monitor, a preview monitor with the widget disabled, and a small monitor above my layers and clips set to select clip mode, with the widget enabled. This allows me to have the best of both worlds. Quick transformation and the power to preview clips from my files panel. I hope you have learned a thing or two about the transform widget in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.